up, everybody? So we're talking about the P90 and why I think it's one of the most underrated SMGs in Tarkov, maybe even one of the most underrated guns in Tarkov. I play this game a ton and so rarely run into PMCs using the P90. At this point in the wipe, the meta is kind of already setting in on both ends. You've got like the high end meta where you have your mutants, your AKMs, your 308 MDRs, all that stuff is back again this wipe and it's still kind of best in slot. And then you have like the budget meta where the rest of the players that can't afford to run that all the time are running the UMPs. Now this wipe, you know, Vepra Hunter, ADAR, stuff like that. All the budget kings are kind of coming back out. And the P90 has pretty much always sat in the middle. And it's one of the reasons why people don't use it a lot. But I think this wipe with some of the changes to ammo, the restrictions on ammo, the restrictions on armor and all that stuff from the flea market. And with how recoil works now, the P90 is kind of like emerging as a perfect, perfect middle ground option when it comes to budget and effectiveness. So we're going to talk about it before we get too far in though. As a reminder, if you like the video, think about dropping a like or commenting down below. We are getting so close to 100,000 subscribers here on YouTube. So everybody that subscribes really, really helps me out a ton. Additionally, you can see me play Escape from Tarkov live on Twitch all the time. All my links will be down below. I'd love to have you stop by and say hey. But talking about the P90, uh, really quickly, obviously the stats, it shoots the 5.7 ammo. It shoots that 900 rounds per minute. It's got 50 round mags. You can go suppressed or unsuppressed. And the uh, recoil on these is really, really good. And because they're SMGs, the ergo is really good as well. In the past, you kind of had 9 mil as the king of the budget roam with the AP 6.3 and even purchasing, you used to be able to purchase the 7N31, which is now the PBP or whatever it's called. But these rounds were kind of like the go-to budget meta rounds. And now even 9 mil AP is restricted to the point where you can only craft it or find it in raid. Uh, same thing with the PBP, which is even rarer. I don't even know where I got this stuff. But now that they're so, so restricted, uh, it makes this even more viable in my opinion. Things like the MP7, the MP5, are, and even the Vector are just not hitting as hard because PST, GZH is really the only way to go. So in my opinion, this kind of works on both ends. If you're a Chad and you're tired of running the AKMs or the really, really expensive guns and you want to give yourself a challenge, this is incredibly effective. And if you're on the lower end and you're normally running super, super budget options, but you want to kind of up your game without having to spend 400,000 rubles on a gun and some ammo, the P90 is perfect. I wouldn't call this a budget weapon with the cost of the magazines, the cost of the gun itself, um, and how much ammo you can get per reset and stuff like that. I wouldn't call this a budget weapon, but it is not as expensive as the meta weapons and it kind of just sits in the middle which I think is perfect so we can talk about how to get your hands on one of these things what I like about this as well is that there's multiple barters and multiple ways to purchase them straight up and they all kind of even out to the place where the price is pretty set it's not like you're going to have to abuse one barter that one barter is going to be out of stock all the time they all are relatively even uh, so if we go to level three peacekeeper you can barter for two military cables for a long barrel p90 with the kind of higher mount on it which isn't ideal but it's still very very usable this comes with everything you need you can put a flashlight on it. you can put an optic on it you can't suppress this so this gun is ready to go you just need more mags and then if you have a flashlight or if you have an optic in your stash throw that on um, it's two military cables these are about 75 to 85 depending on when you look so this ends up being about 160,000 rubles to purchase this thing. Like we said, not super cheap, but uh, it's basically ready to go outside of that. The other barter is mechanic level two. So you can get this pretty early. It's only level two mechanic. It's six GP coins. GP coins come out to about 30K a piece. So that means this is once again, around the 180 to 190,000 ruble mark, not too far off. But this one is the short barrel one. It comes with the suppressor and it comes with an EOTech optic. So once again, ready to rumble, you need even less things. It comes with an optic. You can just throw a flashlight on if you want or attack device and you are good to go. Additionally, if you just want to buy it straight up at level four peacekeeper, which is a little bit harder to get to, you can just buy it straight up for 975 USD. That comes out to about 125,000 rubles and you're going to need to replace with this with a rail and then probably you're going to want to either suppress it or put the longer barrel on. However, I wouldn't even recommend purchasing it here because you can buy them on the flea market for about 75 to 80,000 rubles depending on the day because they spawn on raiders. Now, a lot of times people will take the mag out and do it separately or they'll take the suppressor off if it was suppressed. But at 75,000 rubles, you have a ton of flexibility to then buy whatever optic or longer barrel or the suppressor or anything that you want uh, and, and get the gun down much cheaper. This is actually probably the best way to do it off the flea market. Now, the suppressor you purchase from level four mechanic and it is about 70,000 rubles, 71,000 rubles. Uh, you can get them on the flea market sometimes for a little bit cheaper. I've seen them for like 60, 65, but 
for the most part, uh, mechanic level four is the best way to go. If you don't have mechanic level four, however, 79,000 rubles isn't that much more than 71,000 rubles. You can also purchase the long barrel for the P90 from skier level three, and that's only 25,000 rubles. Uh, so that's another option as well. Uh, cheaper and a little bit more accessible because it's only skier level three. Now the suppressor versus the long barrel Basically, the suppressor obviously suppresses the round. The recoil is pretty identical between the two. It's just that you get an accuracy buff with the longer barrel. So suppressed, we're at 39 vertical recoil and 60 ergo. And you can see the MOA of the gun is 4.21. If we switch this out for the longer barrel, uh, the recoil goes up a tiny bit. The ergo also goes up, but the MOA goes way down to 1.31. Uh, with the damage drop off and stuff like that that was added, I'm not too worried about MOA on an SMG. You used to be able to kind of meme around and put like a ranged optic on this just to have fun, uh, but I wouldn't be worried about that. Just use these things for close enough. But on a budget, the uh, long barrel really isn't that much different when it comes to recoil. So if you don't want to spend 70k on the suppressor, just use it unsuppressed if, if being quiet isn't that important to you because this thing absolutely still slaps there. Now, some of the other things to know uh, from mechanic level four, you can buy the lower mount for the P90. Uh, it's really cheap too, but you do have to get mechanic level four. Uh, and then you can purchase mounts for each side of this to put a flashlight on if you want. You just kind of link search that, and then you can buy these little uh, EFFEN uh, mounts for flashlights and stuff like that. And then additionally, there is a, uh, a smaller butt pad and a larger butt pad. This reduces like one vertical recoil and a little bit of horizontal recoil. Um, this is the smaller one, not a huge deal, but if you want to, you know, min max the P90, you can do that. So that's the cost of the P90. No matter how you slice it, you're all in around like 160 to 180K, uh, which is nice because there's a bunch of different ways you can do that. You can check GP coins, you can check military cables. If you get them cheap or something like that, then you can snipe one of these for relatively cheap. Now, the next thing we got to talk about is the ammo. So Peacekeeper level three is going to be what you want for the P90 ammo. Uh, the two ammos that we're going to talk about are SS190 and the SM193. SS190 is technically best in slot when it comes to pen at 37 pen, 49 damage. The ammo has traditionally been what's held back the P90 because the best ammo for the gun being only 37 pen uh, is kind of like not that great but i think the ammo is actually what makes this gun so good now and we'll talk about that in a second so best in slot 37 pen 49 damage that's gonna pen an alton face shield like a class 5 alton face shield in like five shots uh and it's gonna go through like oh uh, like a class 3 face shield on like a wendy or a fast mt face shield on the first time like 96 percent of the time now the second best ammo and this is the one that i recommend which is the sp193 i did a video talking about this uh, a little bit ago uh, as well as the mp7 ammo and some of the other ones but the sp193 applies a negative 24 vertical recoil so just flat on the gun so this 39 becomes 15 negative 24 recoil and you only lose two pen it goes from 37 down to 35 and you gain damage from 49 this round has 54 damage so that two pen doesn't do a whole lot to us basically no matter how you slice it it ends up being like one to two more shots depending on your target once again up against an alton this goes from penning it in five shots to penning it in seven and you're shooting 900 rounds per minute and you're shooting at 900 rounds per minute with 15 vertical recoil so hitting those shots isn't that hard to do uh the once again the ammo for this sits in a really interesting spot you used to be able to get that 9mm ammo really, really reliably. AP 6.3 for the 9mm has 30 pen, and the PBP, the top tier one, has 39. This is 35. So this is basically sits right in between AP 6.3 and PBP if we're kind of comparing it to 9mm. It's cheap. It's half the price of SS190. You can buy it every reset. You can only buy 120 rounds, but you can buy it. You can't buy the 9mm ammo anymore. Uh, and it applies an insane vertical recoil uh, reduction to your gun. So it's awesome. Only be, only being able to buy 120 per reset, uh, it, it's... It kind of sucks, but at the same time, it's way better than some of the other ammos that we have. So basically, you're just not going to be able to reliably run guns anytime you want anymore. You know, you're not going to be able to just like buy out the best ammo in huge quantities and run a specific gun like all the time anymore. You're going to have to bounce back and forth. So I just recommend buying this. You know, if I'm doing quests, if I'm using other guns, every reset, every time I think about it, I just buy 120 more rounds. Once I get up to like three, four, five hundred 500 rounds of the 193, uh, I just use this thing and have fun with it until I get pretty low on ammo and then I use something else while I stock up. 
So we can show off this SB193 ammo in the hideout and how insane it is. Once again, not the best pen in the world, but it's just an absolute laser beam. We'll do it around this distance. You know, it's an SMG. You want to be close. Uh, the, all these mags have SB193 in them. And uh, I'm not going to compensate for recoil at all here. I'm just going to hold mouse one. That is absolutely insane. And then you can kind of like see the difference if I crouch to get that little bit of bonus recoil reduction and I try and compensate with my mouse. It is actually disgusting how accurate you can be with this thing. Uh, and that does allow you to reach a little bit farther out. Once again, SMG, you're not going to want to go too far out, but like I can reliably put headshots on this guy even at this distance. It, it basically ends up being 15 vertical recoil. So the SB193 is a huge recommendation for me to get that recoil down. Now the magazines is definitely something else to talk about. They're a little bit pricey for magazines at 99 USD, which comes out to about 12,000 rubles. But you gotta remember that these are 50 round mags. These are high capacity magazines and you do not have to reload as often as you think. A lot of times people with SMGs, if they're used to 30 round mags and like the MP9 or the MP5 or something like that, they reload constantly. 50 rounds is a lot. You can buy 10 of these per reset. And if we compare to something more comparable, the 40 round mags for the MP7 are 13,000 rubles around. Uh, and then other high capacity mags like the uh, AK, you can't, you have to barter from these or you can buy them off the flea market for 20,000 rubles around. And you can't even purchase uh, 60 round M4 mags off the flea market. You'll have to do the barter for those. So 12,000 rubles for, you know, a 50 round magazine and something like this is pretty, pretty doable. Even just bringing two extra mags and one in the gun that's 150 rounds and that is comparable to bringing five a total of five 30 round magazines and another gun if you brought an ak with a 30 round mag and four additional mags in your rig people would think that that's a pretty normal loadout that's 150 rounds this three magazines is 150 rounds the obvious downside if you've ever used a p90 is repacking these mags in raid takes an absolute eternity uh so maybe bring that extra mag uh or just make sure that you have time to you know take a nap and read a book while you're repacking your magazines However, at the end of the day, that is the P90. That is why I think this thing is underrated and very, very slept on. It is, there isn't really like a meta build. It's very usable suppressed. It's very usable unsuppressed. It's very usable with the lower mount. It's very usable with the higher mount. You don't need to buy a lot of attachments for it. There's like four different ways to get it. They're all basically pretty comparable when it compared to price. And you're not just gonna have to sit there and wait for a reset to get a very specific barter. So this is usable, it's attainable, and I really think this plays into kind of like the new meta of Tarkov, where it's an SMG, it's close range, it doesn't have absolutely god tier ammo, but it absolutely shreds when it's used right. So hopefully you found this helpful, and maybe you go out and you try using a P90 in Escape from Tarkov. Thank you so much, as always, for taking the time to check out this video. If you liked the video, think about dropping a like, commenting down below, or subscribing to the channel for more content like this. We are so close to 100,000 subscribers here on YouTube, so every sub helps a ton. Uh, I also stream Escape from Tarkov on Twitch. All my links will be down below. I'd love to have you stop by and say hey. And if you're looking for people to play Tarkov with, our Discord server is an awesome place to be. That link is down below as well. Thank you again for stopping by, and I will definitely see you all on the next one.